Hey team, just Rowan here. I don't know how to draw a frog, but we're gonna draw a frog. You can watch me fumble the eyeballs a few times here. I've had a hard time this year. A lot of people have. And this video is gonna go up in like May. Maybe the first video in May. So by then I know that I'm having surgery. I don't know necessarily how much currently. But I will then. By then I'll know how much I'll probably know when the surgery is. But uh yeah, I'm I'm stressed. I'm stressed, and so I'm gonna draw a frog. Hello frog. And you're gonna be here with me drawing it. I don't know where the legs go. Again, I don't know how to draw a frog. And I decided they're just like a head with legs, which isn't really true. And there's a little mouth and that balls. I've drawn frogs maybe twice in my life. I should draw more frogs. I like them. You know, they're very chill. Got long tongues. They're just neat. They're neat creatures. And the reason the frogs came up is because they told me that after the surgery, uh, I might be a little croaky. They were saying like raspy. But yeah, when I hear croak, I hear like death. And that's not what they meant. They just meant, you know, raspy. But croaky, it's stuck in my brain. So, frog. I'm just hoping I don't die has become, I'm just hopping, I don't croak. See, it's all frog puns. See, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. That's why I'm drawing this frog. Here's where I decided they're not just heads, actually. And they don't really have necks. So this is me. <laughs> this is me deciding where the body goes and what shape this is actually going to be. It's all nonsense anyway. I put its little arms, like, <laughs> coming out of its face. I, I'm fine. And you guys get to just hang out with me. Drawing this frog. Do you draw frogs? Tell me in the comments if you draw frogs. Or what other little critters you draw to chill out when you're very, very stressed. What do you do in general to chill out when you're stressed? Give me tips. Give me thoughts. I need ways to chill out. Apparently, I don't have any. <laughs> I've learned this about myself. I don't actually relax. I don't know how to do it. I don't think I've ever known how to do it. I don't know how to chill out. Rob married a human being who has no chill in any direction. He loves me so much and I am so thankful. So now I'm drawing this frog who's just hopping. They don't croak. Just like me. And somewhere along the lines I decided this could be a house fright adorable. Easy enough. And I'm trying to keep a humor about it, you know? This is a, a common thing that happens to people and very survivable, I keep getting told. Of course, very survivable doesn't mean like 100%, but I'm just gonna pretend that means fine. That means this is taken care of, I'm good. Going to the best surgeon. I met him, he's really nice, actually. He's like a legitimately very nice human being. And assuming that I survive, I will tell people if they ever have this surgery to go to this man. If I don't survive, then he's not getting a good Yelp review, because obvious reasons. So, <laughs> uh, see, I can still be funny. I'm fine. How many times do I need to say I'm fine until I really sound very not fine? I'm fine. I'm drawing frogs. And you're drawing frogs with me. This frog. I think he's obviously a frog. He's green. He's got legs. Looks like he's ready to hop. Do, 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 do. I'm not doing real shading, but I am going to give him a shadow in the end. Little highlights on the eyes. See? He's doing fine. I'm doing fine. We're all doing fine. Right? And then it'll be black and white for House Fright Durable, because all the House Fright Durable comics are black and white, except for special ones, like this one, that I put on the Patreon. Patreon also gets, you know, all the comics. <laughs> A couple days early. So feel free to subscribe to that and rock on.